It's the right microphone this time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We heard a lot of testimony from Director Alviti about the technology that these gantries are going to use. And it, it raises a lot of concerns about privacy and the role of government. And because of that, I, I'm moving an uh, amendment at this time. It's LC004326 forward slash 22. Give me one moment, please, Representative. Representative Felipe moves amendment LC004326 slash 22. That is seconded by Whip Trillo, Representative Costa, Representative Giruso, Representative Morgan, Representative Riley, Lita Newberry, Representative Roberts, Representative Nardalillo, Representative Chippendale, Representative Price, Representative Lancia. Proceed, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, Director Alviti spoke about these gantries having cameras, license plate readers, uh, lasers to, to <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> to uh, to monitor the vehicles that are going that are going past. And one of the concerns I have, and, and I'm sure many of my colleagues have, is that traffic violations may be enforced through the technology on these gantries, uh, speeding violations, illegal lane changes, or any of the the sundry traffic laws that we have in this state. So th this this amendment is simple. It says the gantries can't be used for traffic violation enforcement. That's all. There's really not much to say about it, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Chairman Keeble. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition to this amendment. I salute Representative Filippi. It's, it's a good thought. It's a good idea. But it's really the sort of issue that should have its own hearing and be thought about independently. And in fact, we do have a bill. Whip Edwards has a bill that's currently pending in judiciary, so Representative Flippy, you'll have an opportunity to hear about this issue. We should hear about, we should hear from law enforcement on this issue. We should hear from um, people concerned with privacy. And for that reason, I would urge my members to defeat this amendment. <laughs> Representative Morgan. Thank you, Speaker. Once this bill is passed, it's passed. We don't have any protections in it. We are, not we, you, are going to be approving the most intensive system of tolls in the country. Six roads, 14 gantries at a minimum, the director, what few questions I was able to get to him, mentioned that, oh, how great. When a car passed through one, it would go to the next. They have such great technology, they'll be able to tell how long it takes you guys to pee when you get off the road. He said it. they certainly will be able to tell how fast we are going. In other states, they have already started sending traffic violations out to people going through gantries. So if they approach it and they're going too fast, they can send them a traffic violation and they are starting to do that in other states. Nothing will stop them when they need money. This is a real danger to our travelers. And we shouldn't take it lightly. We shouldn't say, well, down the road, we're going to fix it, because that may never happen. And instead, we will be saddling all of our travelers on Rhode Island's highways with the danger that they can get a traffic citation if they approach a gantry at five miles over the speed limit. The director bragged about how good the technology was. It's that good, and it will be used against your constituents. Representative Corvese. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With all due respect to Representative Morgan and my dear friends in the Republican contingent, um, I, I think of all the amendments we've had to deal with tonight, I think this is the easiest to vote against. This, there is nothing in the bill that says that uh, this is uh, something that we're going to do or thinking of doing. It would, require, it would require a complete different and new piece of legislation, which is not here before us. Thank you. Deputy Speaker Lee. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members of the House, um, I commend Representative Felipe and my colleagues on the other side for this amendment. I actually put this in his legislation on the Newport Bridge, and I checked it out because I liked the amendment and was told by uh, someone who spoke to the director, this technology that they're using will not, will not capture plates on automobiles. So it's not necessary. It's only going to capture them on the tractor trailer trucks, not on the automobiles. So it's not needed. And uh, I urge you to vote against this. Thank you. Leader Newberry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very briefly, uh, Representative Morgan's um, summary of what happened at the uh, finance hearing is very accurate to what Director Alviti said. The technology is quite extraordinary in this. And with all due respect to Representative Lima said, because obviously she likes the idea too, having put the similar bill in, um, I don't care what DOT says they're going to put on the gantries. This goes back to giving them wide discretion. We don't need a separate piece of legislation. This is something that DOT, if they want to work with the state police, could easily do without our input. This is a very, very simple change to protect all of our constituents against abuse of the technology. I cannot fathom that anybody in this room be opposed to this idea, except that it happens to be a Republican amendment on a night when we're opposed to the bill on the floor. I get the game the way it's played, but come on, folks. Everybody thinks it's a good idea. You all think it's a good idea. The Senate would think it's a good idea. No one really opposes this. So why don't you vote and do the right thing? Leader DeSimone. Thank you, Speaker, members of the House. I rise in uh, opposition of this uh, amendment. Uh, initially, uh, I want to say that uh, Representative Corvese's remarks are uh, dead on. Uh, I was going to get up and, and say that uh, this particular piece of legislation doesn't empower DOT or anybody else to do anything along the lines that the amendment is addressing. And I think uh, Chairman Keeble's remarks about a separate bill being in judiciary is right on the mark as well. Uh, this is something we'd have to study, see how the data, what data brings us, and then we have a hearing process and we determine what we're going to do with that data. But as for this particular bill, uh, this bill should remain, remain as it is. Uh, my understanding is that uh, it, the technology doesn't even measure the weight of the vehicle, it looks to the type of vehicle. Uh, so I think we're in our infancy, we have much time to go before we even these uh, gantries become a reality. So at this time, I'd ask my colleagues to vote against this amendment, give us the opportunity to uh, analyze whatever data, the data that the technology will bring us, and we will take the appropriate steps to make sure that our residents are not harmed in any way, except for the purpose of what we're doing here today. So with that, I'd urge my colleagues to vote against this amendment. Thank you. Representative Chippendale. Thank you, Speaker. You know, we're passing this monumental toll bill that's been in front of us for 13 days, but we're taking caution on something so simple as we want to go through the hearing process on one issue, speeding tickets. But yet on this, it's three days, bang, we gotta get it done, gotta get it done, gotta get it done, we gotta get people on the roads, gotta get them working, gotta get the tolls up, gotta get, no time to review it, 13 days, we have, didn't even have a final hearing, Did, didn't even get through the whole hearing. But a simple question that we can put into this bill, we gotta study it. I don't know, I don't know. Representative Felipe. Thank you, Speaker. If the DOT doesn't have the power to do this, what's the harm in putting it in? Chairman Keeble said that there's a bill in committee that deals with this. That bill could die. There could be a chicken coop controversy at the end of the year. We don't know. 
and that we need to hear from law enforcement and privacy advocates. Well, that's the problem with the process, is that this should have been done in the committee level already. And because it wasn't done, we're going to pass an imperfect bill which puts our privacy rights in jeopardy. That's a bad move. And to, to my good friend, Doc Cravese, who said that new legislation would be needed to authorize the police to utilize the gantries to monitor our traffic. I know of no law which would prevent a police officer from sitting down at the controls and watching what happens, using all the cameras and the different technology on the gantries to monitor what our citizens are doing. So I, with all due respect, I reject that. This is a simple privacy issue. Do we want the government to be able to monitor us and give us traffic tickets at these unlimited number of gantries? Is that what we want for the state of Rhode Island? It is a terrible move to not put these protections in. If it's not a risk, if the, the police aren't going to do this, then there's no risk in putting it in. But by not putting it in, we open up ourselves to the evils which we just spoke of. Please, protect the citizens. It's simple. It's a one-sentence addition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Yuchi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, I rise in opposition to this. And um, gee, the Republicans are just doing this out of the goodness of their heart to put this in because it's such a concern. We already have it in Newport. There already is this technique. There's gantries in Newport that are taking your picture and your data and all of this, and it's already there. These aren't going to be in place for a year. But let's not study this in a bill. Chairman Keeble said there's a bill in. Don't study it in committee. We have plenty of time to do it because maybe you do have a good point. But these are the arguments that they're using just to slow this down or to make it appear that we're passing bad legislation. One has nothing to do with the other. And Representative, if you're that concerned to it, maybe you should put in a constitutional amendment of whether this should be on or not, since that seems to be where you want to go. Representative Blazewski. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, members of the House. I also rise in opposition to this amendment. I think uh, Chairman Keeble outlined the reasons why we should handle this in the committee process. And furthermore, the technology that we're using is looking at larger trucks. It's not collecting the information on the, on the passenger vehicles. It's focusing on the larger trucks. So I don't think it's the same issue that Representative Philippi has raised. And it, it, to the extent it is legitimate, it should be raised through the committee process. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Whip Trillo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't understand why there's such an argument against this. If this electronics is in place, believe me, all it takes is, is programming the computers to analyze the speed of vehicles and automatically submitting them, giving them uh, speeding tickets, automatically. So just think of it. This would be a great windfall for the state. Let's turn these gantries into speed traps and have the people sent speeding tickets. We don't even need to put the state police on the highways to check speed. These gantries will do it. They're already equipped to do it. It's a programming change. So what's going to stop the state police maybe from going to the Department of Administration, of which they're, they're part of, and making that suggestion? And then all of a sudden, we have speeding tickets to all of our constituents. This is just a no-brainer. Why can't we just say it can't be used for that purpose? Very simple. I don't get the argument sometimes. I understand that we're going to vote. We're going to vote not to do it. Of course. I get that. But I'm trying to make sense of it. Lee to Newberry. Representative Yuchi, you know, it's nice to talk about the committee process. It's great, but the committee process goes on all the time here, and sometimes it drags on for months. But sometimes it doesn't. For example, in this instance, ultimately, we didn't have a committee process on this bill. We had a committee hearing that got truncated on a bill that was introduced 13 days ago. And believe it or not, we do introduce amendments to try to improve legislation, even when we don't like the legislation. It's no secret I'm against this bill, but I'd like to make it better. And this makes it better. And don't tell me if we voted this thing in tonight that the Senate and the Governor wouldn't agree with it. Let's be serious here. Representative Felipe. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'll be brief. I'll respond to the constitutional statement. We have a Fourth I, I, Amendment already, Representative Ucci, I, and we I'm need sorry, to start Representative, respecting... Representative, I'm sorry, point of order. This is not an argument. If you're on the amendment, please proceed. You're not going to argue back and forth, okay? You're free to speak on the bill, the amendment that's before us. Proceed. I'm fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Representative. Representative Agello. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members of the House, I find myself almost chuckling thinking about this amendment that seeks to protect people's privacy when what it's really trying to do is protect speeders and people who commit other infractions on our highways. And when someone says all of our constituents will be getting tickets for speeding, maybe that wouldn't be so bad. But privacy is, is a huge issue. I am concerned, too, with some of the surveillance that is possible with these gantries and other sorts of electronic media these days. But we're all talking about protecting speeders from getting tickets? I think this amendment should be voted down. Thank you, Representative. Representative Chippendale. No one wants to get caught speeding. Okay, fine. That's, that, that, that's the way it is. But should speeders not speed? Yes, that's fine. This is an absolutely simple issue. Of course, it's a great opportunity for cheap shots to be thrown at those Republicans who want to do this out of the other. But it's very simple. It improves a really bad bill. It protects people from abuse of power. Now, I know that's all good, that's all well and good, and someday down the road, like a kid in a candy shop with no parent watching them, we'll see that low-hanging fruit of a million cars zipping under these gantries and say, how can we resist this revenue stream? It's an enhanced revenue stream. That's what we're trying to protect. I don't endorse speeding, but I endorse the abuse of power. And if anyone in this room thinks for one second that this government or any government does not or has not abused power such as described in this amendment, then they're either on another planet or they haven't lived in Rhode Island long enough. This will turn into a revenue stream. And I hate using that word, revenue stream. This will turn into an oppressive taxation burden on the taxpayers of the state of Rhode Island. You can bank on that. The odds are better on that happening than not. And as far as the committee process, I'm not gonna repeat what's already been said. Don't mock the system that you're hiding behind in the first place. Let's be intellectually honest with ourselves and with each other about what's happening. For once, can we do that? We know what's happening. This is a good, simple amendment. It won't hurt you to pass it. All Thank right. you. All right. Our volume is starting to escalate, and there's absolutely no need for that. So everybody's getting their chance. The debate is wonderful. We like every viewpoint to get out there. Let's keep the volume down, Representative. Thank you. And that goes for everybody. Representative Palangio. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Talking about privacy and uh, uh, cameras. I don't know if any of you have ever been over to DOT. There's a small theater there with about 20 screens. It already exists. They can push a button and tell what's going on on pretty much any road or, or major road throughout the state. If they want to catch speeders, the technology is already there. So it's funny that you're talking about, you know, keeping uh, the government from watching what you're doing. They've been doing it. They've been doing it for quite some time, and the ability to catch speeders is already there. How is it out of order? I'm talking against... Hold on, I, that's, that's my determination. <laughs> what, what is your point of order? The, the, the amendment is specifically about gantries under this tolling bill using speed traps, not existing cameras in DOT. It has nothing to do with that. Well, you, you, you spoke about abuse of power, 
you spoke about abuse of power, and, and, and I probably let you go far beyond where I should have because, quite frankly, and since I'm addressing a point of order, these cameras don't even see cars. They see big trucks as they're approaching, and then they further identify them as Class 8s. They don't see cars. So you brought up the abuse of power. You're free to address the abuse of power issue. Proceed, Thank you. I guess the point I'm trying to make is why would we only have 14 places where you could catch speeders when there, you could pretty much catch them on any major road throughout the state currently? So um, uh, I object to the amendment. I don't think it makes any sense because the technology already exists. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Riley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, uh, two quick points. One is that the technology doesn't actually exist. Uh, the reason for this amendment, why I support it, is because we're talking about, I, I, let me withdraw that. It does exist in the Newport Bridge. I think uh, Representative Yuchi's comments regarding this being a possible uh, avenue for abuse there, right on. I think we should prohibit that as well. But with regards to the traffic cameras at the Traffic Management Center, they don't involve radar, they don't involve lasers, they don't involve cameras that are checking vehicles, running them against registrations to determine what type of car they are. If they are a truck, it's because we have programmed them to only give us data back on trucks. It's the same system that would be in place if there are cars. So the technology does not exist except in one place, so, so we know it's there, and it is a problem. The second thing is that even if we're only talking about commercial vehicles, there is still a problem here. And that is that this legislation does not prevent the state police or anyone else from using data obtained from these gantries to cite operators of commercial vehicles for uh, violations of feder federal or state motor carrier statutes. And the problem is that we are not building in any protections on vehicles that are registered to a company, which is the only data we would have back from these cameras, and the people who are actually operating them. If it was the intent to use these cameras to enforce the laws of the state, we would provide that distinction because we would not be citing people personally when we can't prove they aren't operating. So this is well beyond the scope of what this legislation intends. That's why this is a very safe amendment. Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You concluded? All right. Th thank you, Representative. Uh, there are no other lights. Clerk, unlock the machine on the amendment. All in favor, please vote green. Those opposed, red. Clerk, lock the machine. 17 in favor, 53 opposed. The amendment fails. Back on the act. Representative Nunes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I know a lot, of the, a lot of the initial debate on this legislation circled around uh, the, the classification scheme in the original bill before we had just amended it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, think, I think we made some substantive changes to it that will protect our constituents uh, in the future, in the near term and, and in the future. Uh, one of the issues that leadership has uh, determined in the sub A of this bill, or in the, in the second version of Roadworks, is to tie any expansion to passenger vehicles to a vote of the people. And I, 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 I would tend to agree with that. I think that it's, it's even though it, it, it is only in the legislation, I think it's, it's probably a pretty effective step at ensuring that the tolls will never be uh, placed on.